Hi everybody, it's Sally with Vintage Discoveries. I'm here with a uh, pop-up sale and I'm um, going to start with first thing on my list. This is Coro. It's a Demi Perer. Uh, I actually broke this. Um, this is a Trembler. It needs to somehow be fixed, but it has the necklace, it's Coro, and the earrings, and the bracelet, and it attaches there fine and dandy. Um, these don't tremble, which is better on a bracelet so you're not catching it on your clothes and such. Um, it's not missing any stones. It's really beautiful, but Unfortunately, it needs to be repaired, so. But even the bracelet, with the bracelet, I think $50 is a good price for me. Um, they don't need to break any more of it, so let me be careful. So, and the piece that's missing is included, so if, you've, if you're handy with a little, I don't know what, soldering, I guess? Glue would not do it, but um, the soldering on the little doingy doingy thing. So $50 for that. You can have the, the cloth with it too, called cloth baggy. So we have that. The next one is what I'm calling quilted. Sterling quilted dark green stone. I'm assuming you can have this made smaller. Um, needs to be polished. Is this a polisher too? Actually polishes things? But yeah. Um, this is a size 10, I believe. No, hold on. No, size 9. You can have it made smaller. It's sterling. So... You can have it made smaller or bigger, whichever you need. It's hard to tell, but it's a, just a, it's a, like forest green stone. I like the look of it. Then we, oh, this one is 44. Okay. Then this chain, which is $38 and 38 inches. It's Italy. 925. I must have got it about 15 years ago from QVC. So $38, 38 inches. Then we have this ring. No. This one, it's the um, this one. This one is big. Uh, it's like 11 and a half. Sterling, it's old, it's marked Sterling. It's like a green tiger's eye. So it's, it's a big, classic, chunky. This one is 49. Then we have this amber ring. Kind of a wraparound design. See that? The classic coloring. I believe this one is seven. No, just just about an eighth. So the amber ring is thirty. The blue glass ring. That was the other one I picked up. Yes, the one that's cut on the top faceted and I believe it's faceted on the bottom too. It's got a unique cut to it. And that is, I could stretch it to an eight. That's nice. So that ring uh, is 29. Then we have 
this one that didn't sell before. This is got the genuine diamonds. You know, not the greatest quality, but they're still diamonds. And 10 karat gold, and it's sterling, and it's marked. It's a newer ring. Marked on the inside. Not sure if you can see that. There you go. This one is 67. Did I say what size that was? Of course you didn't, sorry. It's a seven. Then we have a little piggy, a chunky piggy, sterling. And that one um, is 47 and it's a seven and a half. It's really cute on. Then we have the onyx and marcasite ring, right? This is 36 onyx, marcasite, and tiger's eye. And that's a nine. Then we have this one that didn't sell the last time. Never heard back from them. This is the larger size. It's an 11, but it you could wear it as a 10 because it's bypass, it's stretching out a little bit, but it sits at a 10. Sterling and turquoise. Had some markings on here that I don't recognize, but uh, 925. So that's a nice one. Then the, oh, this. So proud of myself. I'm going in order. Now I tested this, it tested Sterling. I don't, didn't see any 925 or Sterling mark on it. Um, sometimes when people get the sizes changed, that happens. I don't know. But this one is really cute. And it's 18. Turquoise and Sterling. And it goes to almost a five and a half. Then we have the Sterling... This one's really old, adjustable topaz ring. It's, um, like I said, adjustable in there. It, it's this, it says sterling on the inside. And it will expand. It sits at a five, but can go all the way up to probably a seven because it does open up. So that one is 40. Then we have this green turquoise and blue stone. I believe that that's just a uh, glass. And that's a nine with the um, green turquoise chips. This one, I polished it with the cut crystal sterling, and that's a size 10. And that one is, did I say how much this? This was 40. And this one was 42, I'm sorry. This one, I believe, is the Quartz Crystal, beautiful sterling. And that is just about a six. And that's 42. And then, the last of the rings, oh, I'm wearing my, my pink ring. But anyway, the last of the rings was this um, beautiful aqua blue sterling ring. And it's a size 7. 
and that one is also 42. Okay, so we got through that. I'm proud of myself in going through this in order, pretty much. All right. Now, we have this book chain bracelet with faux pearls and hearts. I believe those stones are not real, but they're all there. It kind of sits up high. It's got the book chain. Um, this is measuring at a measurement of <laughs> keeping suspense. I'm going with eight, a size eight on the wrist. It's so pretty. These are like my favorites. I have a few different styles. They're so unique. I love them so much. Um, what was I saying? Okay. Oh, this is 24. 24 for the, the book chain. Then we have this Art Nouveau looking um, rose bracelet. That's how it has the clasp. Pretty cool. This one, I believe, is a little bit smaller. Yeah, this is a seven. This is size seven, and this is 26. That's really cool. Then I have, I'm all proud of myself. Remember this? Um, where did it disappear to? Oh, this um, fossil watch. It's rose gold and, you know, gold tone. And the little stones around it, and the rest is clear. I put a battery in this, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, yeah. This probably, it's very, it's loose on me, so it's at least, at least an eight, but it, it seems like it's never really been worn. It still has like the, the plastic inside. So um, that's 28. I think I wrote it down. 28 bucks. Nice fossil. Lightweight. Cool. Um, okay. Then we have this Onyx and Sterling bracelet. This one runs small. Um, I tried it on. It's snug on me. So I'm going to say it's like a six. It's a smaller size. That's a clasp. Mark 925 NF. Oh. Feels like hollow links, but it's got a good weight to it. So this is 57. Then we have, um, we did the watch, glass, oh, okay. I got a, um, a necklace lot. Just go through what's in here. Um, we've got two of these. One of them is marked, and I believe the guy is um or woman. I don't know. Lee Sands, right? So you have these two. You have this one, which is Listener. these which has no clasp but they're like a uh, like a orangey red these are kind of opalescent with some red in it these are glass it's such a beautiful color I don't even know how to describe it and then this one has the aurora borealis with the glass beads that's really pretty so that lot with the uh, orange stones is 35. Then we have a 
charm bracelet. Oh, this comes with it too. This is just, um, doesn't say on it, but um, a necklace of garnet. So that goes with that for, um, like I said, 35. Then we have a set of Monet for 30. We've got some Monet bracelets in here. Oh my gosh, tangled. And some necklaces. These are the Monet bracelets. This is $30. This is the Monet multi strand necklace. This is also a Monet. Could be engraved. And this Monet with the toggle. Okay, so yes, $30 for that Monet set. Oh, these, okay. I put charm bracelet, but that's not what this is. They're kind of just like cha-cha bracelets or something um, for $28. This one is some art glass in um, milk glass. And this one has some different uh, vintage resin pieces on it. And same with this one, like an acrylic resin. Cool stuff. 28 for that. Then we have this silver tone set. This is kind of like got the dangle and these pretty glass beads. And this is made by um, Celebrity. It's an older one. Then you have this one that is really cool. I love this one. Uh, really versatile. And that's Premier Design. And remember this one I picked up? I can get it untangled. This one, the multi strand with the glass blue balls. This really cool puffed heart with the neat chain. This one this is old with the hearts on it. It's strung on um, chain. It's cool. And this one, multi-chain one. Got some bling on the end. Really pretty. And I found the bracelet to this one finally, because this matches. This is marked uh, NW or MN, something like that. And it's a kind of style like this. And a matching bracelet. So that whole set, silver tone set, is 40. Okay. Then we have a gold tone set. And that includes this necklace. That's really neat. Gold and silver combo. And this necklace. Also very cool. That's a clasp. This one, I don't know who the maker is. Somebody said something with a V. It's a little bit expandable. I'm not sure it's going to expand on your neck, but if you need the extra room, like I do. I believe this is Premier Design also. Yep. This just pops onto your neck. I love that design. I'd love it even more in silver, I think. But you know what? I just, I gravitate towards silver, and I really do need to now stop knocking over my phone. I really need to get some more gold, maybe. Maybe. And I'm including this one. This is Tiger's Eye, big chunks and rose gold. It's newer. I don't know what that says. Oh, China. Yeah, that's why you know. It's newer. But, yeah. 
I don't know what. It's not gold tone, but it is rose gold tone, so I threw it in there. So you have your gold tone set for 43. 43 for the gold tone beauties. And what else was there? Oh, this hiding under here. Come back. It needs to be polished, but this is um, silver. And it's from Stuart Nye NYE. And it's that classic dogwood that that uh, Stuart guy does. And it's 25. Um, then we have these coin cuffs. These penny, this penny one um, is all, looks like the oldest one is 1982. That's the penny cuff. And then you have this, which is the Kennedy half dollar and some pennies. I don't know why it's bubbly like that. You'll have to either get it cleaned or something. It like, it's like somebody poured something on it or it had a coating and they wanted it to come off or something like that. So these um, are 1975, uh, the date on there. Oh, somebody's mowing their lawn. So um, $30 for the both of them. So $15 each, but 30 for the both of them. Uh, that appears to be it guys I went in in the uh oh no <laughs> I'm so bad I'm so bad what did I do with the other one I think that was oh no I had a thing of um little necklaces for 28 this one is really cool Kind of small, I think it's like 16 inches. But, uh, tiger's eye. If you like kind of minimal type stuff, tiger's eye, and this is vintage gold filled chain. This one is also, uh, I think this is gold over silver. It's really nicely made, but I'm not familiar with style but I think it's either gold filled or no look at the symbol there W with the weird thing and I think it's gold over silver it's really nicely made and it dangles and it has like the short swear oski can you get an idea of what that looks like with the little heart and what else we got in here this is a Monet um, little starfish. And I have this. Cameo. This adorable little dogwood. I believe this is Avon. Oh my goodness. Sorry about the lawn mowing. This is the last one. And this little... All right. She's yelling at the dog. <laughs> Not my dog. Um, and then we have uh, this. Some of them were a little dark, but I just put together some little kind of, for those who don't like too, too big and chunky, but they're a bunch of cute little necklaces and those are 28, 28 for those. And the shipping on everything um, is gonna be $4 unless, um, I mean, it weighs super a lot. Those, those silver tone chains and things like that, that's probably gonna be a little bit more depending on where you live, but I will we'll let you know after I put it in a bag and uh, weigh it. So it's not gonna be that much, you know, I'm not, I I don't charge, overcharge, I should say, on shipping. So, you know, whatever the minimum amount that I could pay, you're going to pay the minimum. Okay, guys. Thanks for all your support. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Now that I'm feeling better, I should be making more videos every day. Um, 
I'm stretching the sails out to every once in a while once I get a good accumulation. Um, so hopefully I'll be picking up more stuff tomorrow and we shall see. Hopefully, like I said, but that'll be great. Thanks for all your well wishes and um, I hope everybody else is doing well. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, and the lawnmower seems like it's coming after me, so I gotta go. All right, if you wanna order anything, I should say, email me at vintage.discoveries21 at gmail.com. Um, I, I, I try to read all the comments, but if you write in the comments that you wanted something, I might miss it. So please email me with a description of what you want, what state or country you're from, if I'm, this is the first time you're ordering, so I know about um, what the um, shipping will be if you're in another country. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks, bye.